this video, if you see my previous videos, I rebuilt a 17 year old ceiling fan. Why? Well, just because, you know. I got the only video where I put ceramic hybrids in a 17 year old ceiling fan. So during that project, I was talking about how I bought two brand new uh, ceiling fans. And of course, they were sort of a piece of crap, both of them. One uh, was severely unbalanced where I had to use a uh, stick-on wheel weight to uh, control the balance out of it. So that is corrected. And then the other fan, its brother, uh, four hours after I installed it, developed the bearing click. So I called them clicky, clicky or knocky, knocky the ceiling fan. So right now the uh, rebuilt one that was originally in here is back up in service temporarily. And the clicky knocky is uh, on the floor ready to be ripped apart. So let's rip it apart and see uh, if the bearings that I bought for my older ones will fit in this one. So here's the new one. It's not even a month, it hasn't even been in service for a month. It's only been in service for maybe two or three weeks now. And the, uh, the click head and the lock have considerably gotten worse as time went on. So it's time to do something about it. So some of you are gonna say, well, why didn't you just take the fan back? Well, I could have. The problem is they would have to order another one, which would have been two weeks. So it's like, what's the point? And I already got the bearings here. So we're gonna rip it apart. So some of this stuff I'm gonna rip it apart in my lap and it's just the jam screws and all that other crap to get the uh, the pretty stuff out. So all I'm doing is just taking off the down rod. So here's all the down rod crap. You put that off to the side. <laughs> Stupid phone has to ring, you know, the movie producers are paying right in the ass. Probably some bullshit call. wasn't a human because usually most humans they let it ring and ring and ring until the phone picks up and says please enter your whatever passcode to get into the phone so you can listen to your messages so if it's short of that it's a computer and the computer is waiting for you to answer the phone so it can direct you to the proper operator which most likely will hang up on you anyway So we're getting, getting closer here. So there's a bunch of screws, just like on the old ones. There's a bunch for the central hub and the four for the uh, split cover here. So we'll take that apart. And we'll take out the uh, jam screws that has a safety torque on it. That's convenient. How convenient. You want to see what I'm doing? You want to see my crotch, crotch cam?
Looks pretty much like the same motor. But just like the other one, you got to take the whole thing apart to uh, service the motor. So we'll get you back on top here so you quit looking at my crotch, you sick bastards. Perverts. <laughs> so we got to take all the wiring apart, yada, yada, yada. And it's got all the nice little single end connections here. So we'll take all that crap apart. We'll take the thumb screws out. For the uh, for the motor, conveniently the uh, light kit has its own connections. There's the crap capacitor for that. Take the uh, reversing switch out, and this time I'm going to mark where it went. So it was facing down. mark on the switch here to remind myself that it went down. Because when I put the other one up, I had to flip it because I had it in backwards. Not a big deal. Of course, if you're the only sole occupant of using the fan, it don't really matter what switch is it on because you can tell when it's blowing on you and when it's blowing up against the ceiling. So no big deal. So we got all the wires here, and of course, just like the other one, you can pull out the three main ones that go up to the top, and then the rest of them you can snip, snip, snip. So there's uh, three wires. So we got a pink one. So pink went to pink, and red went to red, yellow went to yellow, yellow. and the white one, white went to white. There's several whites here, so we'll get the right one. Not that it matters. But we want to preserve the length. And you just want to roll off the floor and break my mat. Oh, that's the wiring package. Now we've got to get the uh, stuff off. And I'm going to have to get that off. So I'm going to have to get some tools. So I'm going to have to pause here and be right back. And I'm back. So this one is completely constructed a little different than the older ones because uh, both the top, this part here and this part had its own jam nuts on the bottom. So these don't have jam nuts on them anymore. It's just one nut on this side and then these jam screws, these Torx safety Torx. <laughs> Silly. So we'll take that crap off. Somehow. 
So we'll use completely inappropriate tools. <clears throat> of course, it's got a safety star washer on there to make things difficult to take apart. Of course, I might have to get a socket or something like that. It's on there tight. Let me get a socket. More tools, more tools. Suckers on there tight. There. Spacers and washers, and we can see a part number here. 6202Z, so I got the bearings for it. Sweet. So that's easy. And when I spin this thing, I can definitely feel it in the bearing. I can feel it in there. You can hear it too. Wee. That's sad. Brand new ceiling fan, you gotta take it apart and rebuild it. That's sad. So now we gotta defeat the safety torques. Haha. -ha. Let's see here, what size is that? I might not have that size, I might have to... I don't have that size in safety though. Well that's too bad, I'll have to get one. Let's see, where'd it go? What size are you? Who knows? Too big. 
ขึ้นเองฟรีสไตร์ยูคิดจะทำอันดูนกับพลายเออร์สด้วยปิดเลยนะแล้วก็จะจุดอันสครูก็ง่ายสิแล้วก็จะมีตัวมอเตอร์สกรูส์ที่ถูกทำให้เป็นการแสดงให้เป็นการแสดงให้เป็นการแสดงให้เป็นการแสดงให้Find you. Where'd you go? There you go. And now for the fun part, splitting it apart. It's always fun. It's so exciting. Easy. 
So that was too easy. Of course, that's a different size. That's fine. Because we need something to beat against. See what I'm doing? No. Pretty much the same construction as the other one. 17 years later. Actually, I gotta keep that back on there. So I can get the bearing off, if it will come off. We're going to do the uh, finger vise. moving. One. And now we got to get the wires out. And get them out of the way. So there's a couple of... They just got to held on with a zip tie. And some string. Quality construction. String? Really? So we want to be very careful with these so we don't damage the uh, connections here and destroy anything.
simple. <laughs> okay. And now I'll make this a two-parter. So this concludes part one. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.